Hey yo, what's up you guys? So, I know I've been absent for a while. Uh, I do apologize. Um, this also is going to probably be a shorter review, just because of the limit I have on my camera today. But, uh, yeah, so I do apologize for that. The main reason why that happened, actually I wonder, hold on. do anything no no that oh that kind of does a little something but so in case you're wondering where this camera is it's in a shelf actually <laughs> uh i because like I, I came upstairs to my own room to film this review today obviously by the title i am reviewing these star wars the black series the bad batch hunter now, if you don't know the Bad Batch, well, you haven't seen Star Wars The Clone Wars, or at least Season 7 yet. Uh, go watch that. I mean, go watch all of Star Wars The Clone Wars. It's canon, and it gives Anakin and Obi-Wan more character, and it has another... It's, it's fantastic. Just go and watch it. Well, in the last season, they introduced the Bad Batch, or Task Force 99. Um, so, yeah. So, this is the first of five. Yeah, so. Kind of got your basic one, except it's red, because they're starting to theme them. And then you got a picture that'll connect to other boxes if I decide to keep this. With Hunter, which is my favorite Bad Batch member, by the way. Got it back with the same picture and a bio that says Hunter. The Bad Batch, technically known as Clone Force 99, is the result of Kaminoan experiments to create a specialist unit of clone commandos. Hunter, their leader, is a strong and stoic soldier with extraordinary keen senses that give him an edge when tracking down his targets. Yeah, I think he picks up on electromagnetic fields. I'm not sure. So here is Hunter. Not all of his accessories are on him, unfortunately, because they didn't give... They gave some storage space, but not, not a lot. But still a great figure. So let's show off the first accessory, which is his helmet. So, they all have unique helmets, and so this one's done very nicely. It's very cool. Paint's pretty clean. I mean, there's some shady back there, but that can just be written off as scuff, you know, from battle. And then, here's his, like, submachine gun. Yes, there's a, there's a specific name for this blaster. I know there is, but... Then I guess I'll show this. Uh, the standard pistol, which we've seen many of times. This is the only thing they don't have storage for. Well, technically, they don't have storage for either of the guns, but you're probably going to have them holding the gun. And then, I don't know, yeah. And then you have a backpack. Which, actually, they have let you know which side to put it on because they actually you have to play match the shape. And it's not coming out of there. But then, the last, which is his knife. Which they did really nicely. I don't know. You can barely see it there. But they did add the yellow paint. Like the yellow paint on the knife. Because it's like. It's a techno blade. Right? I think that's what it's called. And that just goes right into his little wrist. Uh, sheath. Right? That's what it's called. Sheath. Sheath. Not sheath. Sheath. So. But yeah. So let's take a look at the figure. So from what I understand, uh, the other figure that they released, which is a sniper, which I don't remember his name, but is kind of the same body as this, but got really nice paint. You got some scuffage here, and then you got the 99 logo there with the skull, and also you got another 99 here. I mean, paint's pretty clean. Could have done some more battle damage, sure, but... They have like little scuff marks here and there that you can barely see. But the face work is really nice. So, uh, if you don't know, Star Wars Black Series likes to do like a thing where it's like if they make an animated uh, series, they'll bring that character and put it into action figure form, but also brought, bring some realism to it. Uh, so with clones, instead of giving us what we know as the clones in the Clone Wars, how they look under their helmets, they'll just give us like a version of how the clones look in the movies, which is after Tamara Morrison, uh, and they'll just, you know, change the facial features. So, 
Paint is really good on here. You got a half a skull on one side because that's how he is. They also called him the Rambo clone for the longest time. So I, I see why. I've never seen Rambo because I, I just haven't seen it. But I know that look. I'll, I'll go with that. Um, and you got Mon hair and bandana. So I will say, uh, and I think many reviewers have said this. Oh, they also have a little skull right there. I did not notice that before that the helmets look a little big because of them making it so they can fit it on there. And to me, it does look big a little. Like, I don't know if you can kind of tell, but it, it kind of looks big. But to me, it also just is like, kind of makes sense though, <laughs> you know? Like, because it does have to be bigger than your head, but we've also seen it where they've been able to make helmets that are bigger than, you know, that they are able to take off, but they're not as big. So I guess that's why people are complaining. I'm not sure. But yeah, so they have storage for the knife, but I thought they had storage for the bigger gun. I'm like, here, unless I'm not seeing it. Unless I'm, like, really not seeing it, because I don't see it on mine. Unless the piece broke off. Um, but yeah, so, he holds the guns pretty well. I'm probably going to have him holding this gun. So, is, I just like this gun better. The other one comes with a big sniper, which you can actually like break apart and store it on his back, which is really cool, honestly. But so let's get into this guy's articulation. So his head and his neck, I guess. Well, let's go. Let's go with his head. Can look up that far. Can look down that far. Can look side to side, and he's got great tilt. Shoulders can go up that far. You've got single jointed elbows. They, they have a swivel there. He's got a wrist swivel and a hinge up and down on. Wait, is this up and down? Yes, it is. It's very tight, but yeah. And this one, uh, the other one is in and out. A diaphragm joint that allows him to bend forward that far, bend back that far, swivel and tilt. His legs, you have to kind of twist them, can go up. That far, back that far, got upper thigh swivel hidden nicely by the armor. Got a single jointed knee, but it bends in pretty good. He's got his ankle can move. Ooh, that's tight. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Ooh. Okay. And go down that far. Can go up that far. And he's got ankle pivot. Ooh, that is tight. Um, be very careful when you get this figure, if you get this figure, because the ankles on mine were tight. Is the other one better? Yeah, the other one's a bit better. Anything I missed? Not really. Uh, I don't have another Star Wars here to put. And the thing is, is where this camera is <laughs> is almost perfect. But, but yeah, so wonder if I can, this is like the one thing I've never been able to get any of my clone figures to do is have it where it's underneath their arm. Eh, he kind of did it, but you guys didn't see it because I was trying to make it work, but oh, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of debating if I should have the helmet on or off because I like both looks. But we've seen a lot of look, we've seen like a lot of pictures of the Bad Batch, which is streaming May 4th, and I can't wait for that series. Uh, as for Marvel, real quick, Falcon the Winter Soldier, uh, I'm going to watch the next episode like, after this video. So, um, with Marvel, I know there's a lot of Marvel Legends and Star Wars stuff I need to cover, because they announced like a whole new wave, which includes the third, no, the fourth member of the Bad Batch, because they've released three so far um and another clone wars character that i never thought we were going to be getting which is a bounty hunter which is her name is ara singh she's kind of cool um and then they have like a bunch of marvel legends announced and then as for dc mult i know that the batman beyond exclusive is out in target not the exact appealing one that i want because instead of like the I, I'm kind of getting off topic, but he doesn't have the typical Batman Beyond look where you can actually see, like, his, you know, mouth. It's, like, armored up. But 
I'm going to make the sacrifice because I kind of want to create a Batman Beyond themed shelf. Because I like Batman Beyond a lot, actually. <laughs> so, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Star Wars Black Series review. If you did, like, subscribe, and if you feel like it's worthy enough for sharing, please share. Uh, let me know what you think of this figure, if you have it. Uh, and if you are excited for Star Wars The Bad Batch. Um, so yeah. Also, by the way, when I went to, uh, real quick before I end this video... When I went there, they had like a whole, they didn't have anything new. So I went to Walmart, by the way. I went to um, uh, the Star Wars section, and that was like the only thing that had new things. They also have, they had the Shadow Clone Trooper, which is going to show up in this series, apparently. So, and then uh, they had like some Archive Scarif Troopers. But yeah, so I'll see you in the next one, guys.